solar system like the eight planets that we have a uh, couple of dwarf planets and the sun that's our solar system then uh billions of uh, sorry trillions of uh, stars like that in our galaxy our galaxy is milky way galaxy then there are there are a couple of galaxies around us one is andromeda galaxy and there are some smaller galaxies around us these are our local group you can consider that as vadala hmm. okay that is our vadala now suppose you have to go from vadala to dadar but your train speed can never match up to the speed at which dadar is getting away from it uh. that is your space expanding mm. so in vadala all of you are close friends all of you stay together where your gravity is stronger mm. but when you go outside vadala when there are even lesser and lesser things between two different galaxies there is just empty space dark energy and dark matter that's where gravity fails and this dark energy just expands in itself hmm. the other is going away from vadala hmm. at such a rate that even if you travel at the speed of light your train can never reach there hmm. so that is the one thing that blows me that no matter what level we reach we are never going to reach there unless we have a wormhole yeah yeah if you have a piece of paper and you if you imagine an ant going from one corner of the paper to the other corner of the paper it will have to travel the entire distance hmm. all right but imagine if we fold the paper in the middle then the ant can instantly go from one corner to the other corner without having to travel that distance hmm. now we have we this is more or less accepted that the speed of light is the global speed limit that nothing can go faster than light in the vacuum of space but what if we have that force of folding the paper of the fabric of the universe mm. the space time is the fabric of the universe that's what we say that's mm. what we believe in mm. so what if we can create one hole at one point and the other hole at other point and our spaceship or the worm can just pass through it mm. so like just in an apple if your worm has a hole on one side and other side it will not have to go from the surface it can just go through it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so taking a higher dimension mm-hmm. for it the higher dimension is the third dimension mm-hmm. so we can take a higher dimension than the three dimensions that we have and go there yeah so that's the wormhole yeah want to actually talk about two things one is in dark there's a wormhole the netflix show dark which has become very popular ah. there's a concept of a wormhole which is where they kind of uh, go to another period of human history like another time period using the wormhole it's the same logic ha huh. so what they have done is uh, they have conceptualized a wormhole that has a fixed location in space mm. their location and time is different mm. they have imagined a wormhole that is sort of a time traveling wormhole mm. what wormhole i am talking about is a space traveling wormhole mm. like you can go from here to my home in a second mm. the yeah, wormhole yeah, that yeah. they have imagined is sort of a it's like a portal it's yeah. like a time portal around 100 years ago einstein came up with a concept of black hole mm. where all the rules fail uh but we did not have a proof that a black hole exists till last year okay we did not have a proof mm. that black holes exist till last year last year on uh, in april we f- got the first actual photo of a black hole mm. and it's like a blurry photo or it just looks like if you keep your coffee mug somewhere and you get that small patch <laughs> it looks like that is a very blurry photo because mm. it's so far away so we got the proof right now so now what is the link between a black hole and a wormhole uh because we don't know what is inside a black hole some people think that uh what happens to all that matter that goes inside a black hole some people just think that okay let's let's start from the very beginning okay how does a black hole form let's start from that so uh stars form because of gravity like there is this huge cloud imagine a huge cloud of dust that just comes together because of gravity and when it comes together because of gravity is majorly hydrogen that is fusing into helium hmm. and some elements are being formed there is a constant tug of war over there as well between the gravity that is pulling the star inside and the nuclear fusion that is happening outside that spews out all the energy mm. so what happens is this fusion keeps happening inside the star till one point after which star has iron in it and iron does not fuse with anything else so the star just grows heavier and heavier inside and 
there are two cases over here one case is that the uh, outside force the nuclear fusion that is happening that overpowers gravity and the star explodes in a supernova mm. or the gravity wins and the star implodes into a black hole so now what is a black hole and what is the why we why do we call it black firstly so imagine a rocket that has to uh, launch from earth there is a certain speed at which it has to go up that is called as escape velocity so if the escape velocity of any star or any object exceeds the speed of light one, one second one second. Es- escape velocity is the amount of velocity that an object needs to escape the gravitational pull yeah of- the rocket the mm-hmm. rocket has to go up and sideways really really fast hmm. so how fast does it have to go to hmm. enter into orbit hmm. to leave the to leave the ha huh, planet or whatever first any rocket enters into orbit hmm. it starts hmm. orbiting around a planet and then it slingshots from the planet it it takes energy i mean at one point of time it just uses that energy to go into another direction that's hmm. how rockets go hmm. and that's how rockets land as well hmm. so chandrayaan also did not land like this it first started uh, revolving around the moon and then it slowed down and then it slowly landed mm-hmm. so escape velocity velocity is that that the amount of speed amount of velocity that you need to escape a planet mm-hmm. or a star mm-hmm. so at one point if the escape velocity increase uh, is more than the speed of light mm-hmm. then even light cannot escape it mm-hmm. so that's what happens with light the light is trapped over there Are you getting me? Yeah, yeah. That the gravitational pull is so strong that even light can't escape. Even light can't. Mm. Ha. And theoretically, nothing can go faster than light. Mm. So if you go over there, you can't go faster than light. Mm. So you will. There is only one direction you can go into. Yeah. You can't go into other direction. Yeah. So now, if there is a black hole, then possibly there is a white hole somewhere as well. Like two sides of a coin. That's what people say. That a moving black hole can be a white hole to some other. dimension probably another universe as well mm. but we have not ob- not observed it this is all science fiction right mm. if something that was theorized 100 years ago we got the first photo last year then probably this will take even longer to figure it out what is your opinion on aliens in general ah uh, see earth is around 4 billion years old and the big bang theory says that big bang happened around 13 billion years ago So there has been a lot of time for other planets into other in other galaxies to come at a stage where earth is in right now. There are a lot of planets and a lot of planets are habitable as well in mm. theory. Mm. So then where are the aliens? That is the essential question which brings in Fermi paradox. So Fermi was this guy who asked this question ki if we had a lot of time and it is possible to have life everywhere then where are the aliens so uh there are two possible explanations for this one is that we are the first we are the first is the most logical explanation or there have been many uh alien species before who are either not intelligent aliens i mean they are like dinosaurs mm. their priorities are different their priorities majorly survival and getting at the top of the food chain and not our other things like exploration and cultural needs and everything like that why would you want to go to mars and try to colonize it try to make it like earth try to grow potatoes over there <laughs> i mean your priorities are different mm. so these are the two possibilities if aliens exist